How's it going everyone and welcome to a new playthrough that I'm doing on the channel today. We're going to be doing Valdis Story Abyssal City and it's a game that actually just came out probably less than a week ago. I've already beaten this game more than once. Uh, there's about, there's four characters. Um, right now there are only two available so we go into new game and then we're just going to do this on normal. So these are two characters. You have Reyna, Reyna Gaius and Wyatt Goibnew. I'm never really sure how to say that, but the two characters to the right you can't even get to for some reason. Um, I don't know. I haven't beaten the game with Reyna yet, so I don't know if those two unlock afterwards or if it's DLC or something, but the game just came out. It was a Kickstarter project. It's an indie game. It's very good. It's in the style of uh, Metroidvania type of thing. There's a lot of running back and forth and, you know, you need a certain item to get to, to, get to a certain part of the game and get this and get that. So... It's not going to be a 100% playthrough, even though I've been through this game. I haven't 100 percent the game myself, even though I've been through it multiple times. We're just going to go for just a straight up, a straight up playthrough of the game. Um, you know, uh, the game. There are certain things where, like, when you go through boss fights and stuff, you're ranked based on if you use an item, if you, um, you know, how fast you went through it, your your how well uh, did you take any damage, stuff like that. So. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for anything crazy. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and go for a decent rank, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but we're just going to go through the game as Wyatt, the main character, and then Reyna. I don't know if I'll do a playthrough with her, but we're going to go through the game as Wyatt. So These are my two other playthroughs, and we're just going to go with this. So here we go. We're starting now. So we attract the demon warship all the way... Okay, that, that was gone. Using the heavy mist as cover, we ambush the warship. It's great. We've been searching for Grenat for many months now. He's the last living knight in Mirgato's demon army or whatever. And he has information on the disappearance of Cadron. We gave the crew their orders and prepared to board the warship. Alright, yeah, so there are those two characters that we can't play as. The real battle was about to begin. Apparently. There's not really a whole lot of voice acting in this lot of text, but something came up from the black depths of the sea. Creatures unlike any I have seen. Beasts of impossible size, neither demonic nor angelic. Look like whales. Like whales or something. Our ship was attacked, and then... And then... What happened? But yeah, this game, from what I played, is actually pretty short. Tell me, child, what is it that you seek? What is it you seek? It's pretty short. Um, I could probably do this in a couple hours. What I seek? Power. Yes. Power, indeed. Power to destroy the false gods and free human souls from their control. You wish to free humanity? You believe you are just? Sure. All demons and angels were once human, yet you slaughter them without hesitation. Well... Why is it that you want to kill the gods? To save humanity, or to satisfy your own bloodlust? Both? Whether or not I enjoy it is irrelevant. It must be done if we want to survive. Indeed, we shall see. Yes, we shall. Endless Fluff Games presents... Found the story, Abyssal City. As we descend into... This crazy place. I'm guessing it takes place under the ocean or whatever. It's it's pretty pretty insane. Or it's like somewhere near the ocean. I don't know if that's like a wall of ice holding the water back, or if we're in like some kind of weird alternate dimension. It's very very good though. This game is fantastic. I love the art style. The art direction is beautiful. The music is fan fucking fantastic. Like if you're not listening to that right now, it's. It's beautiful. It's really good. The mechanics of the game, there are some things that are that kind of irk me here and there. Um, but that really has to do with uh, the puzzles and stuff. There there are puzzles. So, damn, that hurt. That light must, must have been some sort of protection magic, but from where? This place. Where the hell am I? I don't see Reyna and the others. I should go look for them. They had to land somewhere. Alright, hold RT to cast that, and then do that to... Give myself a region spell, which is cool. 
Now, I'm probably going to be doing, like, weird crap with the controller, or I'm going to be trying to do stuff that I normally can't do because I'm used to having all the things at my disposal, so that's going to be great. You humans don't learn, do you? We warned you to stay out of our... Wait, who are you? I doubt you're willing to tell me where we are right now. In the name of the Dark Lady, I'll show I shall rip you to shreds. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, I don't think so. You're dead. Good job! It's great. It's fantastic. There's a door I can't even get to, so we're not even gonna bother. Oh, wow. What a son of a bitch. It's great. Guess I could've just blocked. Told me to block, and then I didn't block. And I didn't block there either, because I'm dumb. There's this guy. Son of a bitch. Now I can't reach him. Oh my god, I... There. Let's do that! How about that? That was... A lot easier than I thought. I'm, I'm. Prior to this, I was playing as Reyna, and I'm used to not having the range that Wyatt has with his blade, and then I'm also used to that happening. So there we go. Lesser demon spirit. We got iron. We got iron, as Mortal HD would say. I think it's interesting that he says iron. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's a a Russian thing, or maybe that's just how he was taught to pronounce the word. I always find it interesting whenever they talk about stuff like that. Iron. It's great. Alright, so... Now the items that I'm getting allow me to craft shit. It's not like just in, in Metroid and Castlevania where you just happen to find stuff. Like, you do find things, but... You gotta level up. It's good. Now I'm not sure what I want to do with my skills this time. Last time I tried to do, I tried to be kind of a jack of all trades. I'll probably end up doing that this time. I didn't really get any of my uh, level 15 or requires level 15 skills in the tree at the bottom, and generally I don't. So I might not this time. We'll we'll see what happens. Let's see. I can I should upgrade my warrior tree first. Now I'm going to do that. That's good, and then we have our status here. Strength, Int, Luck, and Agi. I'll go with Luck, because Luck gives me a nice nice spread. Now, for some reason, sometimes the game does this. Now, it says I'm running at 30 frames a second, but for some reason or another... There's, like, something going on with, like, the memory of this game, and somehow it manages to not support itself very well. Now, for a second there, it went back up to 60 frames. I'm not sure why this happens. Now, maybe if I exit the room... Oh, well, I can't, so I guess I have to fight that guy. Now... I don't know why this happens. Last time this happened was at a boss fight at the end. And so that was annoying, have to fight a boss, like, at the end in slowdown. Like, it kind of helped me a little bit, but the fight went on a little too long for my liking. So, as I'm skipping through this, I shouldn't spare me. Both angels and demons are not welcome here. Get lost. Hey, wait a second. And then she escapes. So... No, my frame rate is still bad. I do not know what's going on. I'm not sure. Now, I can try and get to a save statue, and... There's a skeleton door that I can't get into. I can try and get into a save statue, which I don't know where one is right now. I think there's one actually right at the bottom of this area. And attempt to leave. And then reload. Which I guess I might as well do. And there's a wall I can't break. We'll be doing that later. I don't remember where it is. The save statue should be fairly close by, though. Son of a bitch. Alright. I don't know why this happens. I'm pretty sure it's a known problem or a known bug that the developers do know about and they're working on. I'm pretty sure for the next... For the next uh, update that happens, and look now I'm now I'm running at 60 frames a second. Like what the hell is going on there? And then I'm back at 30. What the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. I don't know why this is happening. 
It could be also because I'm running fraps as well, but I don't think so. Like, yeah.